Blog Talk Radio. I have yet to discover a job where it pays to look less than your best. Style is the way you say who you are without having to speak. There's no one else like you in the world. You are unique. Find your unique style and you will never again have to agonize over what to wear. Call for a free 15-minute conversation to see how Style with Aplomb can change your image and move you to greater success. 404-428-2527. That's 404-428-2527. Unmarket Your Business, the podcast, born out of the need to share strategies and techniques that really work to market your business. Think yellow page ads and cold calls are your only choices? That's so last century. You're about to learn tested, tried and true marketing techniques you can apply and master, ones that feel authentic instead of salesy, strategies that are true to who you are and how you want to present yourself to your ideal clients. Let's join our host, Carol Joyce Dunlop, in the studio now and allow business success to move forward. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's your hostess with the most. Carol J. Dunlop, how are you doing today? How are things going? I hope they're going well, and I hope you're doing awesome. Because guess what? Here in Hotlanta, it's getting warmer. (laughs) The sun is out. It feels great outside. I hope that you can get outside and do some great stuff. I wanted to come to you today. Um, I had a guest scheduled that we were going to do a coaching session with, but unfortunately she had um, something that came up and we are going to, we're still going to do it, but it's just not going to be today. So I have a special episode for you. As I prep for Spark and Hustle, that's going to be here in Atlanta tomorrow. Well, actually, having a VIP session today, but they'll be here at the conference from April Frank's Hunt, and um, it will be here tomorrow and Saturday. I'm so looking forward to this. I am in the group that's on Facebook, Coach Speak and Write for Profits. It used to be Coach Speak and Serve, and I think she's changed the name a couple times, and I've been a member of that group for, I think, going on two years now. It's been totally awesome. I love April. She's she's a spitfire, <laughs> a ball of energy, no holes barred, and she tells it just like a TI is when it comes to creating a business for yourself. So you should look her up, and if you are going to be here in Atlanta, in Hotlanta tomorrow and Saturday for the Spark and Hustle um, conference, I want you to look me up. I will be there with my pen and paper in hand because I'm going to take plenty, plenty, plenty of notes because they've got some great information I want to find out. Plus, I want to meet the people who I've been conversing with for the last couple of years. Some of them I've already met because we met in Philadelphia last night, last night, last year when I spoke at the Lyft conference. I'll get to see them again because I'll be up at the Lyft conference this year, and I'll also be at Lugenia Trump. Trailblazer Ruckers Black Tie Affair that is happening on September 30th. Can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. She held it the first time. She's one of my clients, definitely. And she's been on a friend of the show. She's been on the show a couple of different times. And she did a fabulous Black Tie Affair last year, and she's doing it again this year. It's going to be even more fab than before. So I'll be spending uh, some time up there. My husband and I plan on having a great time going up there. So anyway, um, and, and they're all a part of the group. Lyft, the people who created Lyft, um, Renelli Williams, Kim Jones, and Donna Izzard, they're part of the April Franks Hunt group, Coach Speak and Write for Profit. So is Ladinia, so is myself. So we are going to have a great time. I don't know. I know that Renelli will be here or is here already in Atlanta now. And I don't know if Kim and Don are here. They may be. And so I just want to meet everyone that's coming down. If you're a coach, speak, and write for profits group member, or if you're going to the Spark and Hustle conference that's happening tomorrow and Saturday, hey, go to the website, hit me up. You'll find all my social media 
platforms there. Let me know that you'll be there, and let's let's set up a time to meet. Because uh, also, I almost forgot I'm going to be there. Nadine Mullings is going to be there too. You know, Nadine and I have the website Magic Challenge going on right now, and it officially ends tomorrow. So instead of us doing our regular Facebook Live. And we're in two different places. We're actually going to be in the same place. So we actually get to do the live from there. So it's going to be kind of a reunion type thing. So speaking of, you know, meeting everyone and and being in the same place as everyone, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about how you can market your own business using live events. Because normally you just think about, you know, if I'm going at what conference am I going to? What am I going to learn at this conference? What can I walk away at this other conference, you know, with the expenses of how to get there and you're eating and all that good stuff. Let's think about how to actually make it intentional and really market your business while you're there. Now, as I said in the description for the show, you don't have to think, oh, my God, do I have to walk around with a sign on my body saying, you know, uh, sponsor my, uh, what is it? Not not sponsor, but um, I forgot the word. Right now, I can't. I can't even tell you why I can't remember. There's so many different things going through my head right now that actually affect my memory. I'm not going to go into it, but it's the word is like on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, you know, use my business, uh, patronize. There we go. Sorry, I got it now. Patronize my business. You don't have to walk around with a sign on you saying that. There are some other ways. As a matter of fact, four different ways that you can do this, and so you can hopefully walk away with some business. But one thing I want to I want to caution you that I found to be true when I attend conferences and from other people I've spoken with, if you're attending a conference that is put on by a particular person like April or maybe even Lamar Tyler or some other big people like that who have a big following and they get all their people together to learn, just think that these people are there because they've either used a product of the sponsor who's putting on the conference or they're going to use a product. So if your product is in petition with theirs, don't feel bad about it. Just just kind of recognize that. Just kind of think about that. Because several conferences that I've gone to, you know, if the big person is putting it on, these people are usually customers of theirs. So if you're trying to get them to come into a big program of yours, it may or may not work, but you don't have to be discouraged about it. I just want you to be aware that you could run into several people who say, hey, I'm using this that's uh, by this person or I'm in this program already. Just just get ready for that because it is their tribe. And you're a part of their tribe. And, yes, you are doing your own thing, but you just have to be cognizant of that. I hope that makes sense because the first time it happened to me, I was like, oh, God, I felt so defeated and so like, no, oh, this is going to happen. But I did get clients from several of the conferences I've attended and they may not have come right away. Some were later on. Some, you know, some were still in the works, but it's a way for you to get out there and get exposure. And believe you me, if if you do the three things that I tell you, if you know who your audience is, even if they're part of somebody else's audience, because come on, be real, how many of us just use one person for everything? It just doesn't happen. We have several different things that we do. Like, for instance, uh, if you think about do you only eat frosted cornflakes? Do you eat the regular cornflakes? Place you eat other cereals by other manufacturers. Just think of it. Think of it like that. But if you know who your audience is, you know what they want, and you know what they want from you, and what you're willing to give them. You can get clients. You just have to be. You know, you have to be really strategic about it. And that's what we are talking about here. So, um, just wanted to let you know that the Spark and Hustle conference here in Atlanta is for you. If you're a business owner, you need to be there in the place. That's why I'm there. And I'm going to learn about how to get sponsors, how to craft my business, how to create programs, all kind of good things. That's why I'm attending. I'm attending for the learning. I'm actually going to be, of course, I'm going to be on the lookout for potential clients, potential JV partners, and actually, as I stated in the very beginning, looking to meet up with other business owners like myself, maybe we can, you know, maybe we can put on a conference together or maybe we can do a program together like Nadine and I are doing right now. Maybe it's something bigger than that that I can assist them with, like I'm doing with the Lyft conference and like I'm doing with with Lugenia's program in September. Or maybe it's something where there's an even bigger opportunity as in when I was part of Write Books That Sell Now. So you never know 
you know, when you meet people, what's going to happen? You have to be ready for the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you have to be ready to take advantage of whatever's going on. So that's kind of what my expectations are open. I expect to learn a lot, a heck of a lot, and I know I'm going to learn a lot. So I expect also to meet up with other businesses business owners like myself, other women business owners, men business owners, and try to see how we can work together to make things beautiful and awesome for both of our businesses and organizations. So that's that's what I'm doing. Now let's get to, and believe me, these things that I'm going to outline for you, these four things that I'm going to tell you about, I am doing them right now. So I want to show you, tell you, help you discover how you can do it too to help market your business using live events. So the first thing you need to do is you need to connect with your peeps. I just said, hey, if you're going to be in Atlanta for the Spark and Hustle conference, connect with me. Go to my website or hit me up on Facebook or, or Twitter or whatever. Just let me know you're going to be there. Let's, let's arrange to meet. So you want to seek out the people that, that you want to get to know better. Look them up in the group if the conference has a group where everybody's communing, and that's a big thing right now, to have a group strictly around the conference or a group that you're in and a conference comes out of, you know, the people are all like, yes, 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 I want to meet you because there's nothing better than meeting someone live and in person. You know, there's nothing better than that. You get to, we get to see so many people on video, we hear their voices, as you hear my voice all the time on the podcast, but to actually meet the person in person, you know, you actually shake their hand or give give them a hug, you talk to them. It's kind of surreal sometimes, you know. So look them up. Look them up on in the Facebook group or whatever group they're a part of. Maybe they have an online conference thing that they're doing where you can chat. Uh, look them up on Twitter and arrange to meet up and chat with them. You know, get to know them because you never know until you actually talk with them one, how you're actually going to affect their life and their business and vice versa, how they're going to affect your life and your business. Your business. Number two, check out speakers, hmm. the speakers and the sponsors. Check out the speakers and the sponsors because the speakers, there's a reason that they're speaking. They have something great to share. They have information that they can share with you to help you do whatever it is better, and they often have a following of their own. So you want to see who's following them. You know, who's in their who's in their groups or Twitter or on Pinterest, where wherever they're most active. Because you never know who you can follow or when you follow them, who's going to follow you. Because there are people out there that are looking for you right now, I promise you. They're looking for you right now. You just got to get in front of them. The other thing is engage with them. Introduce yourself to the speakers at the event. Go up to the speaker, and if you liked what they had to say or if what they had to say benefited you, go up and say, hey, it was awesome. I enjoyed your talk. I enjoyed your presentation, workshop, whatever it was, and I want to know how to follow you. And they'll usually give you their website, or they may even give you some little tidbit that nobody knows. Hey, I got this secret group that I'm starting. I'd love for you to be a part of it. I have been a part of many secret groups or you know, just testing out groups or whatever, just by going up and saying, hey, how are you doing? I loved your presentation. I'm very interested in that. And they may give you tidbits so that they wouldn't tell someone else. So ultimately, you, if you really like this person, if you really say, hey, I, I want to be a part of their tribe, then you need to make an impression on them. Because i got one one lady that I'm really looking forward to meeting, and that's Kendra Griffin. She was actually on, on this podcast earlier in the year, last year. And we were going to do some business together, but we found that that we were – I guess too much alike in certain things, so we decided that at that that time it wasn't a good time, but who knows, who knows. And I've seen her grow and, and do so many great things in Coach Speaking Right for Profits. And I said, you know, I really want to meet her because I'm, I'm really a fan. I'm really a fan of how she professes that she is a child of God and everything that she does kind of comes through with that. So I'm really hoping to, I'm going to make a point of meeting her, and she's in several of the positions, like she's either speaking or emceeing or whatever. I know I'm going to get to meet her, so I can't wait for that. And then when you get inside their groups, you need to inspect their groups and see who the who the actual members are, what they're talking about, who the influencers are in the group, because every group has influencers besides the person who's actually doing the group. There are people that stand out. There are people that say awesome stuff that you want to be a part of. So two things you need to do right away. Connect with your peeps. 
that you are looking to meet at the event, you know, follow them, friend them, connect with them, whatever you need to do, set a time to meet up, and then check out the speakers and the sponsors and see what they're all about too. So stay tuned. i got two more unique things that you need to do, and I'll tell you more about that right after this brief message from our sponsor. Here is what one client had to say. I was struggling in my career and didn't understand why. I was working hard, getting to know the right people, and putting myself forward every day, but I couldn't seem to get ahead. And then I remembered something Beryl taught me. The clothes we wear aren't just things we put on. They're a signal to the world about who we are and what we aspire to be. I was amazed at how quickly people's perception of me changed thanks to her advice. I received a huge raise at my yearly evaluation that reflected not only my hard work, but my value as an individual. More importantly, the confidence my new wardrobe gave me had opened up opportunities I never would have had previously. It's not about buying a new suit or watch. It's about changing how the world sees you and how you see yourself. I will forever be grateful to Beryl for teaching me that. Visit our website at www.stylewithaplomb.com to learn more about how we help clients change how the world sees them. That's www.stylewithaplomb.com. All right, we're back. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're talking about how to market your business using live events. So I already covered two great points that you need to keep in, you know, put them in your hat, (laughs) write them up on your screen or whatever so you'll know the next live event you'll you you attend is to connect with your peeps, find out who's going to be there, you and uh, set a time to meet up and chat with them. Second thing is check out the speakers and the sponsors, follow them, check out their groups, see what's going on. Okay, number three, you need to take notes. Take plenty of notes because obviously unless you're just there as a sponsor and you're in the booth, you're there to learn. So figure out what it is. Who's talking about the stuff that you want to learn the most about? If they have breakout sessions, you know, which ones you're going to go to, what are you going to do, how, what do you expect to walk away from with in your brain? For me, especially, and I think this was this part is happening on Saturday in Spark and Hustle. I, there's a gentleman there that's going to be talking about sponsorships. I can't wait to go to that one because I want to find out all I can about sponsoring. Yes, I got a sponsor right now for. The podcast, yay, that's so awesome. But I am going on a book tour. I'm putting that together right now, starting in August of this year, and it's going to run through the beginning of November, a 10-city book tour right now, unless I get a naming sponsor. Hint, hint. It's called Unmarket Your Business All the Way to the Bank Success Business Success Tour. So we're going to, it's going to be a work. I'm not just you know me coming in there talking about the book. I'm going to share information about the book, but we're really going to talk about how you can market your business for success. So I can't wait for that. Stay tuned. You're going to hear much more information. But the gist of it is I want sponsors because I want to leave a bigger footprint. I know that there are sponsors out there who want to be a part of what I'm doing, who want to talk to the people that I'm talking to and get in front of them. So I'm looking for those sponsors now. And by attending this this sponsorship piece and learning all I can, taking as many notes, as, you know, in detail notes as I can, I'm going to learn more of what I already know and some things I probably didn't even know. So I can't wait for that. So you also want to know when you're when you're taking these notes before you even get there to the event, you want to know who's putting on this event. You know, is it just one person? Is it a group? Is it a conglomeration? What is it? putting on the event? You want to look at how did they market? How did you find out about the event in the first place? And if you can, find out what some other things that they're doing. Because I plan on doing Facebook Lives, having the 
uh, featuring the sponsors in Facebook Lives using this app called Lively that actually broadcasts those lives all over creation on all of my social media platforms to, to kind of amplify what I'm doing. And, of course, I'm going to be using blog posts and YouTube lives and articles in my newsletter and LinkedIn articles. So all, all of the things that are available to me, I'm going to be using. Did this event do that, or did they do other things? That, you know, Did they get affiliates? Do they have other people who are talking about it? Do they have ambassadors? Find all that stuff out. Find out who the sponsors are. You know, I talked about, you know, look up, up the sponsors and the speakers and get to know them. We'll find out exactly who the sponsors are, follow them, see what their company is about, and see the other thing you want to know is, is this sponsor somebody who would most likely sponsor you? Because if they're sponsoring one thing, they're more likely to sponsor something else that is in as long as it's in alignment with what their message is and what they're trying to do. So look at the sponsors. I mean, they dished out money or they did in kind or something. You may not know exactly what they paid or did or whatever, but they're they're up for sponsoring. So, so take that as a I need to look at you if what you're is in alignment with what, what they're trying to present. That's key. Don't just approach a sponsor like I would never approach a John Deere tractor sponsor. Why would that have anything to do with women business owners trying to market the business? You know, that just doesn't go. Unless they come to me and they say, Carol, we see a, a way. If they, they come to me and approach me and want a sponsor, then I would still have to make sure that it's in alignment with what I'm trying to do. How are you helping women business owners market their business? You know, so you have to look at that. And then definitely take advantage of all the knowledge that is happening or that's been dished out at this conference. You want to take advantage of not just what's happening in the sessions, in the breakout sessions, but the knowledge that goes on in the sidebar. You know, you may meet, like I said, JV partners. You may meet potential partners in your business. You may meet clients. You may meet customers. You may meet people who you want to actually get involved with and, and, and become a client of theirs. So, you know, look at what's going on, those little side conversations and stuff. So take notes. Take notes in your head, write it down on paper. Because for me, I'm 56 years old, and there's a lot of notes up in my head, so I just can't keep track. You saw how I couldn't even remember to that word that I was trying to associate with the pay, patron of the sponsors. This is a lot of information up there. So write it down or type it out or get a recorder. Do something where you can keep that information. I promise you, with all the things that are going on at a conference that is, that is exciting, or even if it's boring, the stuff that you want to see, you're not going to be able to hold it in your brain. And then finally, number four, the best way, the absolute best way to market using a lot of this is to create a live event of your own. So strategically and intentionally, all these things I was telling you, connect with your peeps, see how you can meet up with people, and check out the speakers, sponsors, take plenty of notes, is really leading to you. I did that last year. She has um, a monthly meeting thing called Metro ATL and Beyond where we meet together and we network and, you know, people of different businesses come together and we all meet once a month and, you know, we talk about our businesses, we have a speaker and all that good stuff. So she decided to take it to the next level and do an actual conference where she brought in, I think it was six or seven speakers and she had people attending it. She had, it was in this hotel and we had food and it, it was awesome. It was awesome. She even had vendors there. It, it was really great. So she took her thing to the next level. She's planning on doing it again this year. So I want to challenge you to create your own live event. It doesn't have to be, it can be as big or as small as you want it. Maybe your live in-person event is a workshop that you're putting on, or maybe it's a seminar that you're putting on. Maybe it's a JV where you and some other people are putting this thing on. It doesn't have to be, you know, this huge, I'm expecting 500 people to come because you may not have 500 people that are come. You may have 20. Hey, that's fine. I put on workshops before where I had four people. I put on workshops where I've had 20 people. So it just it just kind of depends. But the thing is, you need to get out there in front of folks and let them know what you're doing. You need to let them know, you know, who who your audience is, what you're willing to do for them, what they need for you, and how you can just get the word out about 
yourself because I'm telling you, a live event, there's nothing, nothing, nothing like that, meeting people in person and getting, being able to laugh and joke with them and, you know, be serious and all that good stuff. So that's why I'm putting on this book tour. I am going to the next level with this sucker. I'm telling you, a 10-city book tour, and I think most of the cities except for Atlanta, I have not been to or I've been to very briefly, but they're all going to be ambassadored, the ambassadors of each city are my clients, people I've worked with, and we're going to come together and have a great and awesome time and help you to market your business successfully and kind of get in on these, like, what's really working, what's not working, how to do it the right way. So I can't wait for that. So stay tuned for the announcements that are coming out because right now I'm sending out the invitation to my ambassadors. I expect to have that all wrapped up by April 30th so I can make the announcement on May 1st, and then I can be better prepped to pursue the sponsors that I want because I've got 10 people in 10 different cities who are ready to step up and, like, let's put this thing on. So now the sponsors are going to look at me like, oh, wow, okay, okay, let's, let's, let's do this. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking at, and it's taken me a long time to get to this, get to this point and figure out what it was that I wanted to do. So I want you to do that same thing. And let me know. Uh, connect with me. Go to csicorporation.com slash contact, forward slash contact. Uh, look at the top uh, navigation. Hit the contact button and let me know what kind of live event are you planning on putting on in the next, let's say, six months because you need to give yourself time to think of what it is and where you're going to do it and what's going to happen. Six months is good. You you can have six months. So plan it out. It doesn't have to be big. It could be just a seminar or it could be a workshop. You know, it could be it could be anything. I want to know what, you, what you're planning. So definitely let me know. And as I said before, when I first got on here, let me know if you're going to be at Spark and Hustle. I want to meet you, talk with you, chat with you, and thank you for being part of my community, my peeps, the unmarketing nation, because you are what keeps me going. You're the reason that I have a sponsor here. You're the reason that I kept this podcast going for over a year, and it's going strong. So very, very excited about that. Can't wait to meet you and talk with you. So that's all I have for today. I want you to join me again next week. I'm going to have great guests next week. I'm so excited. You'll, uh, If you are on my newsletter list, you'll see uh, – All about who's coming on next week and I can't wait for her to be here and uh, it's going to be great so have a great rest of the week awesome weekend and we'll talk again next week bye for now thanks for listening we truly appreciate it for information about guests products or services that were mentioned in this episode log on to our website at www.csicorporation.com slash unmarketing to learn more Get a glimpse of our upcoming schedule and join the unmarketing nation of entrepreneurs who are using marketing techniques that work right now. Until next time, keep moving forward. Hi, it's Jamie, Progressive's Employee of the Month, two months in a row. Leave a message at the... Hi, Jamie. It's me, Jamie. I just had a new idea for our song about the Name Your Price tool. So when it's like, tell us what you want to pay, hey, 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 and the trombone goes, blah, 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 and you say, we'll help you find coverage options to fit your budget. Then we just all do finger snaps while a choir goes, savings coming at ya, savings coming at ya. Yes? No? Maybe? Anyway, see your practice tonight. I got new lyrics for the rap break. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law.